Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain you what are the different properties of hash function. So these are the three properties of hash function. The first one is free image resistance. Second one is second free image resistance. And the third one is collision resistance. In the previous lecture, we have already seen that we are applying this hash function that is H on our message. So this message will be our arbitrary length of data and whenever we are applying this hash function on our message then we will get this hash value and this hash value will be called as a message digest and it should be a fixed length of data so the first property is pre image resistance so this property means that it should be computationally hard to reverse a hash function. For example, whenever we are applying the hash function on our message and we are providing this message as an input to our hash function and after applying the hash function, the message digest will be generated. That is hash value will be generated. So whenever the hash value will be generated, then it is very difficult to reverse this process. For example, after generating the hash value, whenever we have to convert it into our original message, then this process is hard to reverse a hash function. For example, if we are considering that if hash function h produce the hash value z, our hash function h, which produce the hash value z, then it should be difficult to process the process to find out the input value x that hashes the value z. Means our input is x and we are applying this hash function on our message. Our message is x and we will get this hash value as a z. And whenever again we have to find from this z to this x, then it is very difficult because of this pre-image resistance property. Means any attacker wants to find out the value of this Z and from this value of this Z, if they are finding to value of this X, then this is not possible for the attacker to find out the original input values. That's why we are using the concept of hash function. This property protect against the attacker who has the hash value and they are trying to find out the input value. So this is our unknown original input and that is the input that we are controlling. And this is our hash value. So attacker target is to find out first of all the hash value and they are trying to finding out the original content of the message. But it is difficult for the attacker to find out the original message because of the hash function we are applying on our message. And due to this property, it is not possible to reverse the operation and finding out the value of our X. That is our pre-image resistance property. Now the second property is second pre-image resistance. So this property means that given an input and its hash value and it should be hard to find out the different input with the same hash function. Suppose for example you can see in this diagram this is our input x, this is our input x dash and whenever we are applying the hash function on our message then this h of x is equal to h of x dash. For example, if you have the input that is abc, that is our x input and if you have a x dash input that is pqr and whenever you are applying the hash function on your message that is h of x and h of x dash, it will generate 
same hash value. For example, I am generating it as the hash value e b two c four h, and it is also e b two c four h. So this is our hash value, and this both the hash values are same. So in this second pre-image resistance property. whenever we are applying the hash function on the different input data it will generate the same hash value so it is difficult for the attacker to find out its plain text value that is called as a second pre image resistance property so this property of the hash function protect the, uh, protect against from the attacker who has the input value as well as our hash value and if they want to substitute any different value into our legitimate value in place of our original input value then it should not get their original contents of the message because of the second pre image resistance property so here the value of h of x is equal to h of x dash so these two hash values are same in our second pre image resistance property so for this property use for using this property it is difficult for the attacker to find out the original contents of the message now the third property is collision resistance so this property it should be hard to find out two different inputs of any length and that result in the same hash value that is called as a collision free hash function this is similar to second pre image resistance for example if we are taking this as a x input and this will be as a y input so in the first input is that i agree to pay dollar 5000 for the software and in the y message i agree to pay dollar 5 for the software and the same hash value will be generated for this two message so for finding this two input that is x and y it is difficult for the attacker to finding out this original contents of the message if attacker will try to change this content of the message and if they are trying to generate regenerate that particular message that i agree to pay dollar 1 rupees for the software then because of the hash function it this message will not be accepted so this hash function is called as a compression function with a fixed hash length and it is possible for the hash function not to have the collision so this property is called as a collision free only confirms that this collision should be hard to find out it is very difficult for the attacker to find out the two input values with the same hash function and this hash function is called as a collision resistance and it is also called as a second pre image resistance property so what is the difference between that second pre image and the collision resistance property here you can see that these are the two different inputs we have provided that is x and x dash x is our abc and x dash is our pqr these are the completely two different values we are taking here and we have generated the same hash values with the help of this hash function but here in case of collision resistance suppose for example we have changed this little bit of text from that message then attacker is trying to focus on that particular part of data that is for their own use and they are try to finding out the original text message so in case of collision resistance both the inputs are having the same hash value that is called as a collision will occur 
and that will be overcome by this property that is collision resistance and attacker will get difficult to find out the two input hash values so in this lecture we have learned the concept of properties of hash function and there are three properties pre image resistance second pre image resistance and the collision resistance so these are the properties of secure hash function that is first one is variable input size then fixed output size efficiency is there then the one way property will be applied and the strong and the weak collision so these all are the properties of secure hash function 